last week would be fine. Hey, John. Hey. This place looks like a disaster area. Thanks, Gerald. Gerald, he's in here. I gotta get going. Coming. Yeah, I'm looking for uh, Jonathan Traeger. Is this his building? You must be late. Late for what? The wedding. Waldorf Astoria. He's getting married? Yeah, well, might be already. Wait! Hey, wait! Liquid Devraw? Not me. We don't keep it, I don't give it. Frankly, I don't know a doctor that would prescribe it. So how does a patient get a hold of it? He wouldn't, unless he was post-op in a hospital. So the only prescriptions you filled for Nadia were for her asthma? Oh, I didn't say that. She was in here so much, I joked I should put her on payroll. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, asthma, migraines, depression, insomnia. She was a doctor's dream. The pharmacist, too. You know, that's strange, because Dr. Abrams says she only prescribed asthma medication. Sure, but there was another doctor who called in prescriptions. Yeah, here it is. Dr. Ellis Hines. Yesterday was my day off. Let's see, Gorski. Nope, didn't work last night. You sure? He's not in the log, he wasn't driving. What, well, does he have a cell phone? Some way we can find him? Yeah, he's the one vacuuming out his car in the back, just about to go on shift. Hey, Gorski, you got visitors! Hey, man, this is ridiculous. Let's get out of here. Look, I just want to see the guy, okay? She said he was short, bald, and fat. If he is, no problem. If he's not, well... I'll be laughing my ass off. Nice. <laughs> Maybe that's the guy. Excuse me, Dave? No, I'm Jerry. That's Dave. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good with faces, but him I don't recognize. Are you sure he came to this pharmacy? According to the VA, he would have been here about a week ago. Let me check our invoices. Miller Frank. We filled the prescription last Wednesday, actually. But you don't recognize him? Well, that's because he used our delivery service. You know, trying to get a decent sandwich in this town, it's like, it's like trying to find an honest politician. Yeah. Yeah, it's like trying to find a girl who, who likes the Three Stooges. Yeah. It's like trying to find a shrink who won't sleep with my wife. <laughs> uh, not that. Not that I've ever had that problem. I, I was just talking speculative, like, you know. It's the problem is getting them to listen. No, the problem is getting them to change. No, the problem is finding a bisexual who's willing to commit. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? It's, it's these sandwiches, man. They just get me all confused, you know? <laughs> That'd be like if you were, like, the first man to land on Mars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like finding a cure for cancer. Yeah, it's like finding a leather bra for my llama. <laughs> Your name Bobo? It'll be a bad day. I forgot our anniversary. I got things on my mind. Ooh. What? What? If you won't let me shoot her, Maybe you could shoot her. Excuse me? Officer, what did that cockroach of a man say? He said he's sorry that he forgot your anniversary and he loves you with all of his life. I didn't say that. Shut up. <laughs>